something to all the guests and the family first before we proceed with this ceremony. I want to say something serious. Did you know that you boys and girls, one of these days when you get older, you are going to face one of the biggest decisions of your whole life. And that's going to be who you're going to marry. And I'll tell you what, I've been coming here to kindergarten for a little while and uh, as I look out on these uh, sweet young ladies and as I look upon these uh, fine young boys, there's something that I have a real desire in my heart. If I could give you something, here's what I'd give you. When time comes for you to get married, I would give every one of these young ladies a fine young man that loves you and that uh, wants to make you the queen of his life. <laughs> You, you, -E -N, okay? Somebody that will love you and be kind to you and help you in every way that he could. But for you young men, I would want to give you a young lady that loves you and that uh, will help you and would encourage you and that together you ought to be kind to each other and help each other have a strong, strong home. That's what I would really like to have for y'all, okay? So you think about that as you grow up and uh, uh, weigh very seriously that, uh, that very serious uh, decision. Now today, we're going to have a quiet, you, you, see that? And quick, you, you, see that? Have a quiet, quick ceremony, okay? And uh, we talked about the seriousness of marriage, Mr. You and miss you, and I have something I want to ask you. <clears throat> but before we do that, I want to ask all the family of Mr. Q to give Mr. Q's sound. And I want to ask all the family of Miss You to give her sound. <laughs> Very good. Now, Mr. Q, and the family of Mr. Q needs to answer, and I do to this, Mr. Q, will you be faithful as you take Miss Q as your lawful wedded wife? Will you be faithful to stand beside her 
Every time the rules of spelling require for you to do that. <laughs> All right. And Miss Miss Yu, do you promise to always be faithful to stand beside your husband, Mr. Q, every time the rules of grammar require for you to do that? Alright, that's very important. What do we do here? Alright. Well, by the authority that's invested in me, by the rules of spelling, I pronounce Mr. Q and Miss U, husband and wife. And it is a delight today to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Q. <laughs>